The Rose Bowl has the Utah Utes and the Penn State Nittany Lions. Utah currently a two and a half point favorite. The total sits at 52 over at BetUS. This one's a uh, Monday, January 2nd, and it's, you know, it's the same time every year. It, what's funny about this is the fact that the Rose Bowl wanted to talk about tradition, and we do the Rose Parade on January 1st every year, and da 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 But this year's game is going to be on January 2nd. Not the same day as the Rose Parade. Where's the tradition, man? God, it's so irritating. Uh, listening to the constant excuses. It, look. I like the Rose Bowl. I like the location. I like all that. But my God, the politicking going on behind the scenes on that crap was just irritating. This one's on ESPN, as it has been for multiple years, because my God, it's a TV contract. Penn State favored by 4.32 is what I have. Now, Utah is favored by 2.5 per the betting line. But when I look at this, these are the numbers based on week 8 of the season on through the end. Yeah, I know that Utah played really well against USC. That was a USC with Caleb Williams injured. Um, in this situation, you look at the numbers, and you've got Penn State, number 23, PPA per drive on offense, number 8, PPA per drive on defense. Utah, number 22, PPA per drive on offense, number 22, PPA per drive on defense. And PPA margin, predicted points added margin, Penn State number three in the country from week eight of the season on. Utah number 13. It's it's tough to get that USC Pac-12 championship win out of your head, but you got to. You got to go back and look at the Oregon game for Utah, where they're on the road, etc. Like this Penn State team, other than against Ohio State and Michigan, they were dominant against pretty much everybody else. This Penn State team is good. They have not been to this game in quite some time. And if you remember the last time that they were in a New Year's Six game, it was against Memphis, and they put up, what, 53 points? I think it was Journey Brown's uh, uh, freshman season, if I'm not mistaken. Like, they, they get up for these games. James Franklin does a good job of that. Now, that's not to say that Kyle Whittingham does not. Uh, but you look at what Utah does on offense. Number 79 PPA per pass on offense. They uh, The Penn State defense, number 111. Number 36, passing success rate. Well, Penn State's defense, number 11. But then you move over to running the ball, which is what Utah does more. They run the ball over 53% of the time. Utah, number 5, PPA per rush. Well, Penn State's number 13. Rushing success rate, Utah, number 7. Uh, Penn State, number 18. Penn State's got dudes. Like, that's a, a big part of this. Turnover margin, Penn State, number 7. Uh, Utah, number 22. Like Utah gives the ball away more than uh, more than Penn State does. Points per play margin favors Penn State. Net points per drive favors Penn State it, ever so slightly. Um, but you start looking at red zone conversion percentage, and Penn State knows how to finish drives. They just do. You look at points per scoring opportunity, etc. It all points Penn State here. And you look at team strength. That's another one that's going to point towards Penn State. I I think Utah is the wrong team favorite here. Uh, I know that Utah got there last year. They want to avenge last year's loss to the Big Ten and come in and get a win over Penn State. I, I think this Penn State team is legit. I really do. Give me James Franklin. Give me the Nittany Lions. I like them plus the two and a half here. I think they win the game outright. I really do. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.